Hi guys and welcome to part 53 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. Now it is the 1st of January 2013 and this is the first Skyrim Mod Sanctuary for this year. Now I have a list of mods longer than my arm that I want to cover in videos, but I'm going to start this year with a short video covering two mods that really do add to the immersion of Skyrim. The first mod I'm going to show you is a mod called Wet and Cold, and it is, I mean, it is absolutely the epitome of an immersive mod. And this immersion is achieved by making it look like the wet and the cold actually affect you and the NPCs of Skyrim. So for example, if you go swimming in the water or it's raining, your character will actually look wet and there will be drips coming off him. It's not an easy effect to see in the video. It really isn't because the drops are quite small and the sound is quite small, but it is quite noticeable in game. And when it rains, the people of Skyrim actually react to it now. Um, if they are not working, they will actually seek shelter. They will go inside, and if they're staying outside, they will put on rain hoods to try and keep dry, which really does help um, that feeling of immersion. It makes it feel like Skyrim, the people of Skyrim, are actually responding to the environment, which is really nice, actually. But by far one of the best features, I think, for, for this mod when wet, when it's raining, if you look up, every now and again, a raindrop hits you in the eye and makes your vision go slightly blurred. It's like you're looking up at the rain and every now and again, one of the raindrops just hits you in the eye. It, it's an amazing feeling, actually. It's the sort of thing that I would never have thought of. Honestly, I would never have thought of. But as soon as I see it in action, I think to myself, this is this is... This is how it should be. This is really, really does make me feel like it's raining. Now, the mod is called Wet and Cold, and so, of course, there are cold effects for us to look at. And for me, they may even be even more impressive and more immersive than the wet effects. For example, if you get caught in a blizzard, um, you will find it's a little harder to see, especially if you look up. If you look up, you get almost blinded by the white, um, and you, so it's best to actually look down at the floor or at the walls. So it's like if you keep staring at the, the actual snowstorm above you, you, you get a slight snow blindness, which is very cool. Um, the mod also adds a slight speed reduction if you're caught in the strong wind. So if, if it's a really strong snowy wind, you actually get a 15% reduction in movement speed. Um, and the wind sounds so much louder and so much more realistic. And once again, the NPCs will actually respond to the weather and will put on gloves and fur hoods. And if you are using the Winter is Coming mod, which is the mod that adds really big thick cloaks made of sort of bear fur type material, it will actually have NPCs wear those as well, which is a really nice touch actually. Um, so instead of seeing people walk around with these cloaks all the time, you only ever see them in these cloaks when the weather is bad, which does add that little, that little something, that little edge of realism. And one last great little feature that this mod adds is um, the ability to see people's breath when it's cold, and which is obviously very realistic indeed. Um, if you go anywhere where it's cold, you can see if people talk or people are breathing, you can see it clearly. And this little addition for me, it just really is a massive change when talking to people out where it's cold. Now, you can actually change all the settings for this mod if you have MCM enabled with Sky UI. That's only if you're using version 3, the alpha or the beta. Um, but obviously this means you can, you know, you can set whatever you want, whichever features you like, you can set those on. And the ones you don't, you can turn those off. Now, one question that will be asked is, does this mod affect performance? And honestly, for me, no, it did not. Now, there are some small uh, visual effects and there are some scripts running. So if you have a weak system, it may affect it, I don't know. But for me, and I would suspect the majority of you, this mod will not affect your performance in the slightest. 
this is definitely a mod I highly, highly recommend. It adds those little details, those those little things that drag you deeper into the environment, deeper into, into the game itself. Um, I absolutely love this mod. It's on my must-have list from now on. Now, the next mod continues the theme of immersion, especially in a snow-filled country such as Skyrim. This mod is called Footprints, and pretty much that <laughs> describes the mod. It gives you and a lot of creatures in Skyrim footprints, only at the moment in snow, but I cannot emphasize how much difference it makes to, to see yourself and, you know, your followers and other NPCs and even things like wolves, birds, etc. leaving footprints. I mean, it, it really does enhance the realism. Um, and you don't notice it as much until you see this mod in action. And then if you go back and see... It, without the mod, with, without footprints, it really does look very strange. And you might be thinking that this is the sort of mod that only really matters in third person because you're not going to see your own footprints. Um, but that, that is not true. First of all, even in first person, being able to see your footprints really does help. Um, it lets you know where you've been. So if you're in, the, in a forest and moving around you can actually see where you've been. If, you, if you're just looking at something and then you look up and try and figure out which direction you were supposed to be going, you can see very clearly by your own footprints. It, it's monumentally obvious, which is great. But also, it just, especially when you meet other creatures, it just enhances the realism, the sort of feeling of immersion that you get. Obviously, again, a consideration here is performance, and this mod is it's got quite a lot of scripts. The mod author has said, if you if you have a system that's got trouble, it's overloaded, the script engine's overloaded, this might have a performance problem. Um, but that is sort of, it's kind of doubtful. It's not, it is not a mod that has a huge number of visual effects. The footprints themselves are fairly simple and fairly static. So I found no change at all for my frame rate and my scripting engine was not under any stress whatsoever. The mod author himself actually released some videos and one of them is with a lot of fighting going on with a lot of creatures. So you can see a lot of footprints going on and it seems to be fine. There doesn't seem to be a performance problem with this mod. He is apparently working on getting these footprints to appear in mud and sand, which will be great. But obviously for Skyrim, the snow is probably the, the most important one because it's the most obvious. When, when, you, see, when you see yourself walking in the snow, it, it is the most obvious thing that you don't have footprints once you realize it. I mean, until until someone points it out, you probably didn't notice it. But from now on, trust me, when you're walking through Skyrim, if you don't use this mod, you are going to keep noticing no footprints. It's such a simple mod, a simple concept, and yet it just enhances the game that little bit more. It's that little extra layer of icing on the cake. Brilliant. Now, some people will probably have seen these two mods and thought I should have covered a mod called Frostfall at the same time, because this is a mod that adds realism to cold and wet, and that might have been uh, appropriate. However, I'm waiting for version 2 of that mod. Um, it does look good, but I use Climates of Tamriel, so I'm waiting for version 2. Uh, but yeah, that mod does look good, and I have a feeling I will be covering it in a video fairly soon. Installing these mods is not too difficult. Uh, for wet and cold, single file, go along to the file section and you want to download with manager on the main file and activate it. A couple of things. SKSE is required for some of the features. Not all of them, but for some of them. Now, at this point, I really do feel that most people really should be using SKSE now. There are so many mods that, that require it, or at least require it for full functionality. So um, generally, to get the most out of this mod, you're going to need SKSE. In the case of wet and cold, it seems like SKSE controls whether or not the HUDs and cloaks, etc., are worn by NPCs. Um, on that note as well, if you're using the Winter is Coming mod, 
and you want the NPCs to put on the cloaks when it is cold rather than as normal. If you're using that mod normally, you have an option to set it so that um, you'll find them randomly on NPCs. Um, but if you only want them to appear in cold areas when it's cold, um, what you need to do is make sure you are using the Cloaks Craft version. So um, Wet and Cold only supports the, the file called 1NIV WIC Cloaks Craft.esp, not the others. Now, if you remember for that mod, you get three different ESP files and you're supposed to pick one of them. This is the one you need if you want wet and cold to control who gets the cloaks. And I would actually suggest you should because it, it really does um, it really does help with the immersion. Um, interestingly enough, wet and cold seems to come above the uh, the cloaks ESP um, even though it uses it. This is where boss places it. And in the installation instructions, I didn't find um, any anything that suggested that would be a problem. Seeing as this mod doesn't actually register the other mod as a master, it's probably accessing it via the scripts, so it probably is fine in any load order. Feel free to leave boss deciding the load order for that one. Now, Footprints is even easier. Again, you've got a single file. Um, it's at the time of this, version 7. Download with Manager and Activate. Like the previous mod, some of the features will only work if you have SKSE installed, and that is for things like the boot detection. Um, so it will change what footprint is being shown. That will only work with SKSE. And most of the other things seem to work without it anyway. And that's it. Both mods installed. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. We're going to end, as always, with some screenshots that you guys have posted. Um, if you want to post screenshots, I will leave a link down below. You're more than welcome to post them. I try to get as many as I can on each video. They're really great, way better than I could do. So I do appreciate you guys posting those. I hope you found the video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, remember, please click the like button. I always appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing you guys for whichever video you decide to join me for. And until then, as always, have fun. Oh, the